A very good evening to you from wherever you are and welcome to One on One. My name is Mudoni Kichura. One on One is a program that you know, talks about different departments in Kise College. This is a program where we get to interview our trainers uh, about various departments. And today we are actually because in studio with me is a post pathology trainer, Madam Christine. She will be introducing herself briefly. But before that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our socials. That is at Kise College, Kise TV, Kise College, sorry, Kise College on uh, Facebook, Kise College on TikTok, Kise College on YouTube. Yeah. We are on road to 250 subscribers. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Yes. You've already subscribed. Yeah. So, my briefly introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you. I'm Madam Christine. I'm a trainer for Symptology and Partment here at Kise College. Yeah. So, uh, you studied about the Symptology. Yes. What, uh, what yeah. will you say about that? I had passion in cosmetology and I had as I had passion in studying cosmetology because I know that by the end of the day I'll be having skills for the addressing and beauty. That's why I chose to study cosmetology. Okay, that is really, really nice. So tell us, what does cosmetology do? When we talk of cosmetology, it is a start of both hair and beauty. So in cosmetology, we do study addressing and beauty with therapy. So beauty therapy, yeah. When you're talking about hair styling, let's not talk about hair styling first. What is the deal with hair styling? When you talk of hair styling, we are dealing with hair dressing, we are plating, we are, we are prostating, we are grading, fixing, gel styling. Barbary, dreadlock, and touch. Yeah. From all of that, uh, I know you have time to explain about the others in the coming series, yeah. but now can we talk about blood styling today? Yeah, when you talk about blood styling, we use that term instead of using blood styling. As a cosmetologist who have studied cosmetology, instead of using the term blood styling, we use blood styling. Yeah. We are very, when you talk of this one, is Situation whereby you wash your hair using different products like shampoo, conditioner, then after that you take your hair to the, uh, to the station area whereby you will portray your hair using the product. Yeah. Now we talked about food therapy and we are hair dressing. Yes. Uh, so where does manicure pedicure fall? Okay. The manual pedicure falls under the therapy. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what is manicure? Tell us the procedure of manicure and pedicure because a lot of people are getting confused. We don't know what manicure is. We don't know what manicure is. We don't know if manicure is about the nails or the the, the toes. So please. Briefly explain to us the process of manicure and pedicure. And is there a must for them to be carried down at the same time? Am I what can just do pedicure and really manicure later? Or is it a must for them to go hand in hand? Yeah, when we talk of manicure, it's the care given to the hands, needs of hands. Then we have a procedure of doing manicure. When we are doing manicure, the first thing you should try and buy. Then after that, you should apply lanolin. Then to lose nails, we soak them in our water. Then after that, we use our equipment known as critical pusher and critical cutter. Those materials we use them to remove those cuticles. Then after that, we scrub them. Then after scrubbing, a client will do a massage. We by different types of massage techniques. Then after that, then the first, the first then after that you have let them talk for it. Then when you talk of baby, they are given to the toes of the leg. Procedure you use under manicure, the same same procedure you use under pedicure. Very well. One lesson on manicure and pedicure. Thank you so much for that insight, Madam Christine. I hope uh, our viewers at home, you learned about it. You're joining us right now, Karim Sadali with Kise uh, TV. 
this is a program known as one on one, a program where we talk about you know matters um, affecting our school in different departments. So you get to, to talk to our trainers and today we have Madam Christine here, she's giving us insights uh, about the cosmetology department. So far, at we have learned about manicure, pedicure, block styling. See, blue dry, most here as a cosmetologist, you need to say block styling. Well, dry. Moving on, we can talk about beauty therapy and how to make up. You know, this is an area we're very, very interested in. Uh, because you know, as girls, we really want to be beautiful. So please tell us about about your makeup. When we talk of makeup, it's the care given to our face. So the first thing we as girls we do, we have concern, more concern on our face. So under makeup, we have the product that we use during makeup. The first product we have the concealer, we have the toner, we have the moisturizer. We have the concealers, we have the makeup brushes, we have the foundation, we have the powders, mascara, eyeliner, and other products. So, under makeup, we first we conceal your face, then after that we tone, then we moisturize. The essence of moisturizing your face is to avoid dryness in your, in your face. Then after that, you as a beautician, I'm a therapist. Uliza Changua, you will start with either eyebrow shaping, oils, applying foundation, or powders in your face. Very well, very well. Hey. <laughs> yeah, what about makeup? You've had that. Yeah, if you want to learn more about that, please make sure you join Kise College. We have located a few meters um, from Katitu Pika Junction. Yeah, you can also find us on our socials. Senior, yeah. please tell us the importance of studying cosmetology. Why do you? of studying cosmetology compared to um, other courses? Uh, one, mm -hmm. for that person who has studied cosmetology, mm -hmm. you can bring yourself. Mm -hmm. But the best thing, mm -hmm. why I choose studying what cosmetology? Mm -hmm. You can bring yourself whereby you shall be enjoying more the profit in your business. Mm -hmm. Then another, another thing is, you can be a demonstrator in a TV. Then after that, you can have a training Then you can have the managerial skills whereby we have the big companies, we have the actual guy, the Now, how do you how do you take care of the full body? I mean, you talk about that. 
When you talk of full body, that is papaya a massage. This one, the full body massage. We have that we use what massage oil. Massage oil it smoothens our body. Oh, we go for the lavender. We are going to talk about the massage oil. Ama moisturizer instead of those after the meal or the meal.